Howdy everybody, I'm Sam Feifel, I'm the editor of Workboat.com. I'm here at the International Workboat Show 2011, and I'm at the uh, Caterpillar booth. I'm here with John and Eric. John, what do you do for Caterpillar? I, um, I'm in marketing, I do pre-sales technical support for the marine industry. Cool, so you know, one of the big topics of discussion has been emissions, emissions, emissions. Everybody's concerned, tier two, tier three, tier four. Uh, what's Caterpillar doing to make sure that your customers can stay compliant. The newest big engine is the C-175. We're announcing a product launch now and it already is compliant to meet IMO and EPA Tier 3 emissions. Great, great. Now, Eric, it's about more than technology uh, when you're talking about helping your customers. They need to understand the lingo, they need to understand the regulatory process. What are you guys doing to make sure that you know they can get from point A to point B? Caterpillar right now is uh, working on uh, different ways to reach their customers through online marketing, uh, doing some studies, um, sending them some information, uh, email links to the new product lines that we have. Uh, specifically now in Latin America, we have a market that's growing and uh, they've placed me in Panama uh, to get closer to our customers, get closer with the dealers and uh, we rely a lot on the information and the marketing that we put together for the Latin American customers. What do you guys think, uh, John, I'll start with you, what do you think is sort of the biggest point of confusion maybe with emissions or what's the biggest concern that the customers are coming to you with? What's the question you get asked the most often? The, the biggest concerns is, are the timeline that they have to meet for different emissions tiers for international waters versus US EPA and how that applies to their vessel and their size of engine. Would you agree with that Eric? Is that a common question for you? Yeah it is and uh, you know technology is, uh, is, is it's moving along and all these uh, companies are looking at ways to innovate and you know Caterpillar aligns with with the technology and we we want to make sure that we comply with the uh, emission uh, changes or around the globe and um, uh, we're, we're on top of that that's one of the things that uh, we focus on and make sure that we're on top of the uh, competitors Great. Well, let's talk big picture a little bit uh, a lot of people on the show floor here are maybe even more than cautiously generally optimistic about 2012. Is that the way you guys see it? Where do you see the, the business being best in the next year? Well, uh, like I said, Sam, you know, uh, Caterpillar right now is focused in Latin America. Um, we got some big orders coming in for uh, the Brazil market. And, um, you know, being closer to our customers in Latin America is going to help out with business in the Gulf, for example. Um, so a lot of customers need to understand that uh, Caterpillar is not going to not going to be a uh, standing away and behind the scene, you know, we're going to be up front uh, with them, uh, listening to them, making sure that we uh, provide what they need um, in whatever region or whatever country uh, around the globe. Great. Well, I know we're all hoping for a strong 2012. I want to thank you guys for being here at the show. You're welcome. Yeah, thank, thank you for you. talking to our viewers and thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.